often have you heard that the best way to sabotage a diet is to eat right before bed. Some diet plans even discourage eating after 7 p.m., with the idea being that right before bed, your metabolism slows down and you won't have a chance to really move around, so you won't be burning off all the food you just ate. Well, this seems logical on the surface, but when you dig into it, it really isn't the case. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why. You may think that your metabolism slows down drastically at the end of the day, but it doesn't come to a complete standstill. Yes, it slows down somewhat because you're not moving around and you're not active, but your organs still require calories. So you'll still be burning through the food that you just ate. Also, calories eaten at night won't change the speed of your metabolism. Some people think that eating at night kind of acts like a switch to change how fast you burn through food, but that simply doesn't happen. And also, the calories you eat at night don't count more than calories you eat during the day. When it comes to weight gain or loss, it's not when you eat, it's how much you eat. So if you eat more calories than you burn on any given day, those extra calories are gonna be stored as body fat. It really doesn't matter what time you eat them. It all comes down to energy balance. So to illustrate how this works, let's pretend that your pantry represents energy balance in your body. Your body can store a certain amount of the carbs and fat you eat within muscle as glycogen and triglycerides. And this represents your pantry. All day long, you're removing and adding food to the pantry as you burn through calories for energy or add calories back through meals. If you exercise and move around more, you'll use up more food as fuel and will create more room in the pantry for extra food. But if you add too much food, as you would if you overeat, the pantry will get full and you'll have to store the extra food elsewhere. This is exactly what happens when you reach a point where glycogen and muscle triglyceride stores are full in the body. The overflow of calories will go to your fat cells to be stored as extra body fat. And it doesn't matter what time of the day it is when you add the food to that pantry. All that matters is that you exceeded the limit for space. You're always in a state of energy flux and you can store fat in the morning just as easily as you can at night. So eating at night isn't exactly the fat loss sabotager that it's been made out to be. In fact, eating at night can have its benefits. For example, if you know you're a person that tends to blow your diet at the end of the day and you come home from work and you're all hungry and you just wanna unwind and put your feet up, then saving a large amount of calories for night can actually be a really good thing and can help you keep your diet in check. This is exactly what I do. I know myself pretty well and I know I have a hard time operating with restraint so instead of trying to hold back and not eat a lot at night, I know I'm gonna unwind, so I save my calories for that, I plan ahead, and this way I can keep getting results and not sabotage my plan. But eating at night isn't for everyone, and although you're not going to gain weight when calories are controlled, there's evidence that it does have its drawbacks. For example, people who eat late at night tend to make poorer food choices and overeat calories. And think about this, this makes lots of sense, right? Like I was just talking about earlier, a lot of people will get off work, they just wanna relax, they wanna unwind, they wanna sit down in front of the TV and just eat some food. It's part of their ritual for relaxing. And so it's super easy to overeat calories. Now remember, it's not like some metabolic switch gets turned on where all of a sudden, everything that you eat at night is gonna get stored as fat. That doesn't happen at all, it's just that it's so easy to overeat calories and when you eat beyond your needs, that's when you gain body fat. And even if late night eating isn't causing you to blow over your calories and you're keeping everything really controlled, it can be associated with some other problems like heartburn. You all know that feeling when you eat and then you lay down flat and all of a sudden you're getting burned and that food is coming back up. Well, you can avoid this by eating a few hours earlier in the day. There's also evidence that late night eating might not be best for blood sugar control or your sleep cycle. Our bodies run on a 24 hour cycle called the circadian rhythm. Now, this rhythm is kind of like an internal master clock that governs when you sleep, when you wake up, the release of certain hormones, as well as changes in body temperature throughout the day and night. Now, eating earlier may be better aligned with your metabolic rhythms, and it may be more beneficial for metabolic health. And this is especially true for people with poor blood sugar control. If you struggle with your blood sugar, it would be better to eat that carb-rich meal earlier than the day than late at night. And if you're gonna eat late at night, you might wanna switch out some of those carbs for protein and also have a little bit of fat. That's gonna blunt this increase in blood sugar. And speaking of circadian rhythm, although limited, some studies do show that eating a very large meal late at night can disrupt your circadian rhythm. And it can even increase the amount of time it takes to fall asleep as well as worsen your sleep quality. 
So even though late night eating may not affect fat loss or gain, it still might not be the most optimal thing for health. So to sum things up, there's pros and there's cons to eating late. And as usual, deciding which to do is gonna come down to personal preference. But don't think that eating late is gonna sabotage your fat loss goals.